Hello and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech and today I'm going to be going through Autodesk Navisworks Freedom. This is a free viewer from Autodesk so if you go to their website and download it it'll enable you to um, view 3D models and get little bits of info that you need from them. So just to get started I'm going to go up to open and I'm going to go to samples. So this samples folder if you've installed Navisworks is in program files Navisworks, Autodesk Navisworks and this is just some sample models you can open up to have a go and get used to the software. So I'm going to open up the ice stadium. So now you've opened up the ice stadium, I'm going to quickly just show you how to move around the model. So it's fairly simple. If you go up to viewpoint and you have the three main tools that you need here. So you have pan. So if I click pan, it'll let me move left to right, up and down. You have the zoom window. So if I wanted to, for example, zoom on this window here, you just drag a box and it zooms in onto the window. So if you use the roller ball in the middle of your mouse, you can zoom in and out. So if I carry on scrolling in, I can actually go in the stadium. Um, if you need to orbit, what I like to do is keep my finger on shift, use the uh, roller ball mouse uh, on my mouse, click it in, you can pivot around, or you can just click orbit, and then you don't have to keep your finger on shift. And then you've got free orbit as well, which is, I never really use it, but that's a 3D orbit where you can go up and down as well as left to right and round. And then constrained orbit where it's around that pivot point. But what I like to do is use the orbit tool and zoom in and out using the middle mouse ball and pan around. If you ever on a different toolbar as well, all your... Uh, viewing options are here as well. So if I wanted to zoom in on, for example, that building there, just highlight it, zoom in. Um, and then you have zoom selected as well. So if I, for example, select that little box there, you can just go zoom selected and it zooms straight in on it. So there's just a quick um, sum up of how to move around the model and how to use the user interface. So now I've gone back to pan, which is the hand. Um, it's, fairly, it's very simple if you've used any kind of 3D software before and CAD software before um, but that's just a quick summary of how to move around the model so this is a fairly big model and detailed model um, so if you've not got the selection tree open um, if you go to home and you have selection tree so this is your model broken down into, into sections if it's been modelled correctly, you should have um, you should have this into all different sections. So if I go to level two, I've got the walls, brackets, redund uh, redundant bar, columns, depending on what what you're actually after in the model. Obviously, this will be different if you're looking at a different model. Um, so if you want to uh, to start with the user interface, if you want to select things, you have this select here. So I, if I click there, this selects anything I click on. If you go to the drop down and go select box, you can actually select multiple things at once as well. So that always comes in handy, but I'm going to go to single selection. And you can also, if I go to, for example, this outside column here, I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to go select same. And it's going to, I've gone select same type. So it's selected everything with the same property. So this is everything that's a wall, it's selected. So if I just click off that and select it again and go to select same, I'm going to go select same geometry. And it's selected all the columns. So that comes in handy if you ever need to um, select certain elements of a model. And then you also have select all and select none and you can also invert the selection which sometimes comes in handy so moving on and um, if you want to hide things so what i'm going to try and do is click the roof and i'm going to go to select same name so now it's selected everything that's got roof in the name and now if you go to visibility i'm going to go click hide so it's got multiple layers so i'll do the same again go select same name and go hide. So now I can see inside the stadium. So if I, for example, I just wanted to select certain things, 
So let's go, if I go back up to the top of my selection tree and I want to just look, I'm going to go unhide all. So now everything's back to normal. So if you ever need to, uh, if you ever get lost or don't know what's hidden and unhidden, just unhide all and it'll take, take, take you back to the top of the model. So I'm just going to go to level three and I want to look at just level three of the stadium. So I'm going to go up to hide unselected. So now this is just showing me level three of the stadium. If I go to unhide all again, go to level one, click level one. So I've just highlighted level one and you go hide unselected again. And there you go, that's level one of the stadium. So this all comes in handy uh, with big models if you need to find the geometry that you're after. So I'm gonna go unhide all again. And you can also do the opposite where you can, if I, so I want to select everything but level three i'm going to highlight level three and then i'm going to go up to select all this little drop down invert selection and ha um and then i'm going to hide that and then hide unselected and hide all so that's a very quick way to just to show you how to um hide unhide geometry in navisworks um so moving on if you wanted to, uh, I'll go to level one because that's got quite a lot of detail. So I'm going to go to hide unselected. If I wanted to measure, for example, the ice rink, I'm going to go to review. And you have this little measure um, tool here. So you have point to point, multiple points, a point line, an angle and area. So what I'm going to do is go point to point and click the surface that I want to measure from and then click the other surface I'd like to measure from. So if you notice, um, I can do this at an angle, but it gives me the measurement in X, Y, and Z on the axes. So it's telling me that it's 37.4 meters across this rink. Um, and then that's the point to point distance and that's it in the X axes as well. So if I clear that off and go measure, and in fact, Let's unhide all. So I'm going to go back to home, unhide all, and I'm going to actually go in the stadium. So all I'm doing there is zooming in and zooming in and zooming in until I go through the roof and I'm on the state. I'm in the stadium. So I'm going to. I want to measure from this board to this board. So I just clicks on that board on that surface and clicks on that surface, and it's telling me in X it's 60 meters. So that's the straight line dimension from point to point and then if I just um, go back to review and I'm going to clear that and do the same again from board to board and even though I, my points aren't straight it's telling me that Y which is the green line um, in, for, in that axis is 30 meters. I hope you found this little quick tutorial helpful if you have, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.